Good evening and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I'm an infant, it's Mahil. The news aligned. Sinumbu promised to reform Nigeria for greater efficiency. Shitima inaugurate NACOM board. Representatives pass Nigerian Peace Calls Bill. Federal government plans 50 billion naira boots for health care. Recruits 2,497 personnel. House constitutes 23 man committee on Orosa report. Ilan South local government commissions was water project in Isale Kutu. Echo has lament low trade volume among member states. COAS emphasizes role of intelligence gathering in tackling insecurity and on sport. Saudi football body suspends fines Ronaldo. Now the news in details. President Bola Tinubu said his administration will ensure that Nigeria is reformed for greater efficiency towards fairness and equity in all aspects of national life. Tinubu said while addressing Afeniferi leaders at the residence of Pa Ruben Fashiranti in Akure on Wednesday. The president emphasized his commitment to leading Nigeria towards economic and social prosperity. Vice President Kashim Shitima has inaugurated the newly constituted board for the Nigeria Arch Commission of Nigeria with a call on the new management to introduce innovations in arch operations in Nigeria. Speaking during the inauguration of the new board at the presidential villa in Abuja, the vice president asked members to synergize and bring fresh perspectives to the operations of the commission. For the second time since the inauguration of the 10th assembly, the House of Representatives on Thursday passed the bill for an act to establish the Nigerian Peace Corps. In moving the motion for a recession, Chairman of the House Committee on Rules and Business, Francis Wave, emphasized the need for the House to resign its decision on the bill and recommit it to the Committee of the Own for the Reconsideration and Passage. The Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare Professor Ali Pati has said that the federal government has recruited 2,497 doctors, midwives, nurses, and community health extension workers in the last six months to bridge the manpower shortage in the health sector. He also disclosed the plan by the federal government to inject 50 billion naira into primary health care sector. The House of Representatives on Thursday constituted a 23-man committee to study the proposed restructuring of federal government agencies in line with the Steffi Orosai report. Announcing the composition of the committee at the commencement of plenary, Speaker Abbas Sajuddin said the committee is to examine the recommendations of the executive arm of government and advise the house thoroughly. The Ilar South Local Government Council, under the leadership of TIC Chairman, Honorable Zubair Zulu Gambari, has commissioned a water project at Darululu in Isale Koto, Ilari. Just events online report that the commissioning which is a significant step towards enhancing water accessibility in the community due to the presence of top government functionaries, which include the Kwara Commissioner for Finance, Honorable Awa Nuru, and Commissioner for Local Government, Community Development and Chief Tansi Affairs, Honorable Abdullah Bata. Honorable Zulu Gambari said Isalekoto Water Project is poised 
to address the long-standing water needs of the community, contributing to improved sanitation and overall well-being of the people. In his contribution, the Commissioner for Local Government, Honorable Abdullahi, posited that the commissioning of the water project will bring about positive transformations in the community and all surrounding areas. The president of the Economic Community of West African State Commission, Omar Tori, on Wednesday, lamented over the low trade volume among member states. Tori advised that the region should produce and export more of its goods to boost the intra-community trade volume. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tarid Lagbaja, has reiterated the importance of the Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps in the fight against insurgency and other criminal activities. The Director, Army Public Relations, Major General Oyema Inwachuku, said in a statement on Thursday, the Lagbaja stated this while inaugurating facilities at night headquarters in Asokoro, Abuja. Lagbaja commended the officers and soldiers of the Corps for their invaluable service to the army and the nation at large. The last on the news is Port. Saudi Arabia's football governing body on Thursday suspended Cristiano Ronaldo for for one game over a gesture he made on the pitch last weekend that was charged provocation. The Saudi Arabian Football Federation said the Al Nasir captain and former Sporting Lisbon star was also fined a total of 30,000 riyads for the move, which broke rules against provoking public during a match. to the end of the news at nine has the recap of the story. Tinobu promised to reform Nigeria for greater efficiency. Shitima inaugurates NAC on board. Representative Spa's Nigerian Peace Calls Bill. Fire government plans 50 billion naira boost for health care. Recruit 2,497 personnel. House constitutes 23 man committee on Orosai report. Ilan South local government commissions water project in Isale Kutu. ECOWAS laments low trade volume among member states. COAS emphasizes role of intelligence gathering in tackling insecurity and on sport. Sabi football body suspends finds Ronaldo. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News. Remember, doubt is a killer. You just have to know who you are and what you stand for. For more news, visit www.justeventonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at Just Event Online. You can also send us an email on Just Event Online at gmail.com. I'm an infant is Mahil. Good night.